Hello everyone, Jules Skorskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about the uh, Infinity i15 and uh, about the bump steer on the car. As you might remember I made a video already about the bump steer and that was focused more on the i14 2 electric touring car and today I want to show you how to change the bump steer on the i15 and what is the effect of the bump steer on the car. So if you have a few minutes uh, come and have a look. Now looking to my i15 uh, I will show you what I mean with the bump steer. It's uh, basically the the angle of the linkage from the steering linkage uh, when the car is compressing into the suspension. So when you cornering, the suspension is moving, and the angle of the tire will go in or out. It depends on the bump steer. Our car standard has no shims. I will show you later and that means with that um, setting of the bump steer when it compresses the tire gets more toe out normally I use one degree and when you totally compress the suspension the toe out goes almost to two degrees so with the standard bump steer the bump steer the toe out will increase by one degree it's um, in that way the car drives very smooth very easy to drive but if you want more steering you can add bump steer shims and I will show you now how to do that now looking to the steering block and as you can see there is uh, no shims here so that means there's zero millimeter bump steer shims here and it means that um, the steering uh, linkage is in the highest position and it has a little bit angle towards the middle and uh, this has uh, the effect uh, that the bump steer is when you compress the the front tire will get more toe out uh, normally around one degree more this is very easy to drive but now I will show you how to change that now I've added the two millimeter shim And as you can see, the steering linkage, which is attached to the steering block, is in a lower position. That means there's less angle, and this uh, increases the bump steer. So now if the suspension compresses, the toe out that you gain is only 0.5 degree now, and a little bit steering, and also a little bit more aggressive feeling. And this is from another angle. As you can see, uh, the steering linkage uh, on the steering block has been lowered and this uh, increased the bump steer. Thank you again for watching my video. I hope this was helpful for you and uh, see you next time.